So this looks like a good one, although it's going to be a nightmare for me to demonstrate because it is a streaming uh, platform where you can stream video and create video all in the browser on your website. The problem is if I use this camera we're talking to now, by the way, still the virtual green screen. It's great, this virtual green screen. I'm not saying it's perfect, but look, I'm still away. Uh, where are we? Look, <laughs> that's the background. That's where I am. I'm still in Malta, uh, but it looks good, doesn't it? It's not perfect but as long as you stay very still it's okay so when we jump in now and look at webwave you'll have to bear with me because what i've done is i've set it up with my standard laptop camera so that's the screen you will see and it might it should be all right and not repeat hopefully but let's have a look this looks like a platform now i probably wouldn't use this platform but that's because obviously i've got streaming software that i can I get it. I know how to. If you are not an expert at streaming and you fancy doing a live stream to your Facebook page or to your YouTube, WebWave could be for you. It's not just streaming. It also creates video. And I think we'll just jump in and we'll explore it together. Here is WebWave. So as we go to the screen. Yep. All right. So you can see that that's me, actually. So the quality is not fantastic, but that's the uh, the webcam on my HP laptop. Um and you can see I am there. And this is the screen I could set up for my uh, live stream. And there's lots I can do to it. You can see I can add things onto it. I can't remove that because I'd have to upgrade. That's the powered by WebGrave, but I can uh, move things around. So what am I going to add to it? I could add an overlay, something like this. There you go. Or I could add... Uh, Audio. Is it playing? Can you hear it? I'm not sure if that's loud enough. Hang on. Ah, I've got to change the mic so I can hear it as well. Bear with. Yep, so I can have the music playing in the background of my stream, and this is what it will be playing as you scream. It's even got, I always think these are a bit tacky, but it's also got, it's also got cheesy, uh, listen, hotkeys. Yeah! Actually. little sound effects there what else could you add to your stream i'm literally with this one just playing with it as we go let's turn off that music now it's getting annoying can you see i'm scrolling down press stop on that so if you wanted to change the music during your screen your stream you would just do it live like that hey and welcome to i might actually end up using this you know it looks quite easy if i had another guest i could have them on let's have a, let's see how that works right so that okay that zooms it out that zooms it in yeah, uh, it's quite good, isn't it? So if you were... Oh, I like this. You know, I said I wouldn't probably use it, and then I'm thinking, I might actually use this. Uh, I could have somebody else in the meeting with me. So invite guests to board. I'd give them the link, and then they would come on board. Uh, and then obviously they'd appear in the boxes and stuff here. There'd be another box with them in it. So that's good. Uh, you can add your brand. Obviously, my brand at the moment is web video, but you could change that to your brand if you wanted to. I could add text into my live stream. Can you see that? Phil Todd at the bottom. Okay. How do I change that name? Participant titles, participant name. So I could give it... Um, that'll be in the setup, all right. I've not got the setup now. So you can add that, those titles in, in all different styles. What else could you add in? You can add media. So the stream's about to start. Here we go. Watch this. That's just by pressing a button. It works. And sorry. We're having tech issues. Thank you for watching at the end. And then turn off and it comes back to you. Um, captions. All right. Let's see what these are. Show. Question time. Well, there you could set them up. So different things within uh, the captions or what else or a ticker. And presumably you can change these. Yeah, you can edit this, edit this ticker. Oh, I like this. It looks really easy to use. This is going to be another of one of those where I'm actually, I start doing it and as I start using the software, uh, I've updated it now. Ticker works. I mean, I spent thousands on some software I've never really used called Wirecast. And this looks good. 
bear in mind that camera would be better and I could have it, you know, I could have it chroma keying or whatever I could have. So you've got that, you've got your practice. I know, I know this video is just going to be me going through the features, but I think as you're watching this, you're probably getting quite excited like I am. Uh, you can have a live chat there that you can show on the stream. And uh, within the setup, I don't know how people would connect, but that would take a bit of sussing out. You can have a private chat which doesn't show on the screen. So I'm not sure how people would connect to your live chat, but it won't be rocket science. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you can, where's the thing, just let me find the other thing, media. So, so at the moment, media's got audio, sound effects, it's got the backgrounds. Could I upload a video? Yes, I could. So say I wanted to, all right, I'd have to be on the premium plan for that, but I could just upload the videos I was going to use during the show into that. I'm not sure if you could show, like, YouTube videos or stuff. Um, wow. And you can have different scenes, so I could create a new screen. Again, it needs to be a premium plan, but you could have several different screens and you could cut between the scenes. And then when you start streaming, you will create a new stream. Um, and in that stream, you could either do a, a live stream where you set it up, uh, the event title, the description, where it's going to record to. You could have a thumbnail of it and you can set up the destinations. All right, hang on. So when you set up destinations, the destinations might be, so you, you would add Facebook page, your YouTube. Um, do you know what? I should really set this up and do a live onto the YouTube so you can actually see it in action. Uh, custom, Instagram, not TikTok, but that's all right. So you set up your live stream or a new recording. Let's see. So... Okay, so yes, yeah, so, so I've got everything set up like that and I want to start recording. Just click start recording. I don't want an intro. No. But I could have the intro and then just start recording. And it will presumably beep when it is recording. Hang on. It's spinning. You like this, don't you? Yeah, it's recording now. Hi, and welcome to my stream. I'm Phil from Phil Review Software. Uh, don't forget to follow me and subscribe to me and uh, buy all the software from my page. My webcam's rubbish there, really bright. Let's let's pause that. Oh, you, so you, And that's another good thing. You can pause and resume. So I can end the recording. Okay, so that's good. After I finish recording, I could automatically... Wow. So that would be good. Say you were recording a video, you could automatically start the video with a pre, you know, your channel intro. I don't do it on my channel. I just like straight into it. Channel intro, and then you could do your recording and then include a channel outro and it automatically will add it to the video. Ah, I like that. There you go. Really good. Good. Now a bit of... <laughs> this will actually go to them. on YouTube at Phil Reviewer and give me full access for the next review. P.S. I'm recording this now. First video, uh, and that'll go to them. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> so yeah, that's that's the recording video bit of it. All right, um, I'm going to leave that now, and now we're going to go to video. So that'll save that video. Um, you want to create a video templates. So it's so it's so it's two things it does. Number one, live stream. Number two, well, actually more than two things. Number one, live stream. Number two, records the videos. Uh, number three, you can create videos like this. So let's find one now. You want to create a any kind of video. video. Let's do a let's do a sh 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 short form video. What type of video do you want? You want a short. You want a social media, and you want a TikTok video. Social media. Scroll down. TikTok video. Pick a template. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many templates are there? I always like to see how many. 
oh, lots of pages of templates. That's always good. Um, you know, and obviously these softwares, they're adding to their templates all the time. Sometimes you open the template page and there's like three templates. So you find a template that's okay. What was the one I saw there that said actually said TikTok on it? Where was that one? Start with TikTok stock images. Make video. All right, so it opens it up in the Wave video editor. I'm liking this software. I can see me using it, and I didn't think that at the start of the video. Right, so it brings in the TikTok video. Unfortunately, it's in the hang on wrong size because we want it to be size, resize. So we want it story. That's more like it. Is that right? And then there is the TikTok video of somebody on TikTok. Hang on. So I'm just going back to here. Bear with me, you know what I'm looking for now, because I'm sure that was a long form video and it's converted it to a... Where was it? Let's try one more time. By the way, my, my thing for 2023 is I'm, I'm doing less edi editing of my videos. So if you are a regular viewer to the channel, um, hopefully, if you just, you'll understand. And if there's any bits now where I go, just bear with me. And obviously, pre pre previous to this, I would have paused, but just fast forward. <laughs> it's simple. Uh, TikTok templates, but I want a long, I want a stretchy template, don't I? All right, let's go with one of these, which is actually designed for TikTok. Uh, okay. Edit template. I'm hoping it is going to be in, the, in. It opens it up this time in. Yes, it's opened it up in portrait size. That's okay. <laughs> So there's that, and I can click on that and just down to the right. I think that should be where the text is. I'm just now me, me pressing these buttons now saves you having to press them later because oh, yeah, I presume you just click on it. Oh, there you go. So you actually click on it within there. Fills. Not sure why I can't type my name there. Possibly it's. I wonder if that's because I'm not upgraded. Could possibly be because I'm not. That could be because I'm not I'm not subscribed. Uh, quite possibly. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to check that out, that out. Of course, they've seen that they'll have seen this video now, so they'll have given me free access. Um, yeah, that could be why that is. But anyway, so you can change it. You can change it around. What can you add to your podcast? So you can add stickers and overlays. And you just drag them in. Yeah, drag a sticker in. You can add text. Um, add new text presumably you can then change that text are the letters working now let's just check uh, you just see what I'm doing now just see the letters are working there so I'm not sure why that didn't work there I'm not trying to create a masterpiece here. Stock, it's got lots of stock, so you could add, um, what do I want, stock? I just want a video, do I, abstract? Are they all videos? Just an image. So I just wanted to add that image into it. Add that to it. I don't want to add it there, I want to add it onto it. Can I do that? All right, so it's gonna take a bit of playing to add that video. Maybe. I, I, presume I can and in that text I can have call to actions and all sorts of stuff so uh, rather than me carrying on really trying to sort it out you get the idea okay um, and then you just publish a video as a video as a gift as a white label link ah so and it will download the video okay feel free to render but you need to upgrade all right so that's it but 
that was very impressive. I know that was a bit went a bit waffly or a bit sort of all over the place in the middle, but uh, yes, that got me genuinely excited. Longer video than I thought. Um, that is called WebWave. The link is in the description of this video if you want to check it out. But um, as I say, uh, that was pretty impressive, especially the streaming thing. And I would love you to give it a try yourselves and tell me what you think as well. If you like my videos, do give them a like. Um, hopefully I'm just a bit away from the normal run-of-the-mill software reviewers and I'll just have fun with it. Uh, and um, if you can subscribe to the channel, it helps me along the way. And I've just realised that my amazing blue screen isn't blue screening, but hey, this is where I really am. Here we go. Back home tomorrow. Back home to... It's probably warmer in the UK. <laughs> See you soon, everyone.